good afternoon today we will be discussing the conditions in canada on the basis of the foundation chart of canada the progression chart of canada by manu smriti the pisces new moon chart of 8th april 2024 and the solar ingress of the 8th april 2024 which is visible in canada now hindu astrologers solved the problem of conflicting lagna of the country by casting the horoscope of the country at the time of sun and moon in the sign pisces on a amavasya day the hindu new moon year sets a trend for the year for one year in case of canada it is from the 8th april 2024 to march 29 2025 unfortunately the solar eclipse is also falling on the same day in the sign pisces and is visible in canada and it is taking place in the 17 axis of the uh, horoscope and when it takes in 17 axis of the horoscope then it is not good the transit of rahu and ketu in the 17 axis and especially when rahu is also in adverse motion we will discuss that and uh, and in transit also the rahu and ketu will be in adverse motion <coughs> the monday 8th april 2024 total uh, eclipse will cross north america passing over mexico the united states and canada the total solar eclipse will begin over the south pacific ocean weather permitting the first location in the continental north america that will experience totally is mexico pacific coast at around 11:07 am pdt solar eclipse and new pisces new moon chart for canada <coughs> is chart is below on monday hence the king of the year is mars and the minister is saturn and both are placed in the 8th house where the planetary war is taking place which is explosive hindu new moon year for canada the chart is of cancer lagna when the chart is of cancer lagna the the moon is placed in the ninth house with sun and rahu and is both the luminaries and the venus is afflicted by rahu and the first parameter is the mars and saturn in the eighth house the tenth lord in the eighth house and eighth lord aspect in the 10th house so i will discuss the when the lord of the year is mars and affliction with saturn the falling happenings could take place kings at daggers drawn around the world and india and canada trouble by thieves plenty of fire in forests and other places terrorist activities obviously by the terrorist groups which find canada a safe haven life and property will not be safe there will be less food crops people will be unhappy crime will increase mass happenings will take place earthquakes and typhoons destruction of properties all over the world instability in the country and general happiness will suffer all these predictions are made on the basis of the book of mundane astrology by shri k n rao the minister of the year is saturn and mars and saturn are enemies has a difficult most difficult year for the globe and canada because most of the countries would have this combination because when the pisces moon new moon chart is drawn for the different countries it will be on monday so the uh, pratibhada falls on tuesday so the lord of the year becomes mars Mars in the eighth house is evil position, sudden and terrible deaths by accidents and crimes, death of military, naval, and medical men, notable people in the iron and steel industry, and traders relating to fireworks may suffer the most. Saturn in the eighth house is also in an evil position, death of important and elderly people and important personalities. 
the placement of sun moon rahu and venus in the ninth house shipping religion trade judiciary film stars and judges will suffer the most foreign policy will not be successful women will suffer adverse changes will spoil the general condition of the country visa and other things related to travel there may be restrictions the placement of jupiter and mercury in the 10th house is good but the 10th clause in the 8th house and in planetary war spoils the taste of the chart ninth lord in the 10th house is very good but since the 10th lord is in the 8th house adverse happening specially connected to the head of the country ketu in the 3rd house fraud and swindling secret movements and crime in neighboring, neighboring places third lord in the 10th house in gandanda is not good either strong press to control the government may fail the ascendant does not have any benefic aspect the general condition of the country may not be good the country is running the dasha of saturn saturn till april 2024 and both and in both the charts saturn is connected to the 8th house and afflicted badly in the case of the foundation chart saturn is fallen and it is placed in the sign libra and it is retrograde the solar eclipse and the pisces new moon chart falling in the ascendant of the canada foundation chart is self explanatory as already predicted the eclipse will fall in the 8th house of us in the 7th house of russia third house of china of borders in the 12th house of pakistan and in the 11th house of india for canada it will be a bolt from the blue since saturn fallen in the 8th house and aspects the second house and the 8th house from the 7th house from the 7th house from <clears throat> from marga hence saturn saturn dasha will bring a downfall in the country and economy the khalistani and terrorist group will be most active during this period the relations with india will get ugly and total diplomatic relations will break solar eclipse the effect the solar eclipse and the pisces new moon chart fall on the same day the veda between mars and saturn in the nakshatra sangata chakra and the rashi sangata chakra says both will be in sadisha star in the sign aquarius from the 24th march to 7th april mars and saturn will be in planetary war on the 8th april 2024 at the time of solar eclipse most explosive for the globe in every respect especially for canada because it is in the 8th house and wherever this combination is taking place in the 8th house those countries will be influenced adversely it is very difficult to look at all the countries but i will make another video and article uh, looking at india for india i have already predicted china russia so the important countries the important uh, you know uh, countries mars and saturn will be in the sign of aquarius from the 15th march to 23rd april most crucial for the war like situation in the world there will be veda in the rashi and nakshatra sangata chakra both disease and virus may also be concerned due to the transit of rahu ketu in the 1 second 7 axis in the foundation chart of canada the most explosive parameter is this eclipse chart and pisces new moon chart the king of the year is mars and mr of the year is saturn and planetary war between them at the time of the eclipse chart and pisces new moon chart this may lead to war like conditions in the globe and brawl between the countries may take a great turn needless to mention the countries north korea china russia along with iran will get together and the rest of the world may be on the other side all the above parameters indicate war like conditions in the world and canada in particular natural and un unnatural calamities and even a slow down in the economy not note adverse motion for a long period again at a stretch will also track the stock market in the negative direction between 26th march to 12th april and then from 16th april to 24th april 2024 oil prices may touch all time high and economy all time low 
when the situation comes i will write more mars the planet of ammunition dump will activate the eclipse point for the world 7th 8th 21st and 22nd april 2024 will be most explosive for the world in every respect as per as per the art, my articles posted on my web page the eclipse point of the solar eclipse of the 8th april is 25 degrees in pisces and mars will transit over this point on the 25th may 2024 will be explosive for the world and especially canada north node rahu at a stretch in adverse motion from the 26th march to 24th april something similar to what had happened during the demonetization on the 8th november 2016 this parameter alone can be like a snake bite and on the just before the demonetization on the 8th november 2016 i had made predictions that there will be a, a stock market crash and the Uh, because rahu is at a stretch for so many days when rahu is at a stretch for more than 13 or 17 days it brings havoc and it is just like a snake bite and then we had the demonetization so the conditions are similar for the world justin trudeau will face a downfall and canada india relations will further soar canada will be in hot waters due to slow economy housing crisis and terrorist groups and kharasani groups you know mars and saturn conjunction we have already talked about is considered to be most inauspicious because of the two heavy planets jangir nama we have talked about jangir nama in the previous video that jangir used to distribute you know gold silver and food because he was afraid of this conjunction and when, whenever this conjunction has taken place most un uh, you see untoward happenings have happened battle of haldi ghat uh, 21st march 19 uh, 1739 nadir shah invasion in delhi and all the shops etc were looted operation blue star this conjunction took place in the 6th house of india foundation chart and uh, what do you call you can see for yourself what happened during the operation blue star now this conjunction is taking place in the 12th house of canada so there will be lot of losses and <clears throat> uh, what do you call spiages because mars will connect the 12th house in the seventh house other events which have happened in this conjunction we have all talked about it and last time it happened in between february and april 1994 it was most venomous uh, rawadin president and bunadi president died with a missile shots and uh, shoots down their jet near wada so so many things have happened so foundation chart of canada and uh, we have discussed this and so this is our friends the progression chart also shows mars and saturn are together in the fourth house and moon is in the nakshatra of rahu which is placed in the lagna a leo sign is rising which is a sixth house of the canada foundation chart and rahu is in adverse motion when rahu is in adverse motion it is not for a day so there will be trouble from this year from april 2023 to april 2024 and it may continue till rahu is in adverse motion i have not seen how many days it is going to be adverse but it will create havoc and then i have already written about uh, justin trudeau downfall looking at his horoscope so this is all friends i just wanted to share uh, things are uh, 
uh, I wanted to analyze it and do a fine tuning and when I fine tune it, I find things are getting worse. I wanted to see if there is improvement, but I have seen one thing. Supposing I predict that there is 100% negativity, I have seen the negativity is not 100%, the negativity is more than 50% and 60%. So we expect whatever uh, I have predicted, it may be about 60 to 70%. So this is all friends, I just wanted to share. Thank you very much for listening to me. Have a good day. Bye bye. Best of luck.